Such scenes are common in central Uganda with people losing lives and property in some cases. In a directive dated 28 February 2022, President Museveni banned land evictions that are carried out without the consent of district security committees. The Minister for Presidency, Mili Babalanda, is not happy that they are still happening. The evictions have reduced, but the problem still exists. I am actually disturbed by the ugly pictures of the violent evictions, especially in the Buganda region, that continues to feature in the media. The minister expressed her frustration over reports that some resident district commissioners and resident city commissioners are involved in land grabbing and connive with land grabbers. And here you are. And it is the reason why I had to call for this meeting to get to know who is failing who, who is doing otherwise. She was backed by the Minister of State for Lands, Sam Mayanja, who blamed the lack of implementation of the President's directive on conflict of interest and friction among government agencies. I have directed that these people be arrested, charged. But I mean, Mr. As I speak now, not one, not one mile holder, not one titled holder has been charged. Mayanja has called for collaboration among the stakeholders. And if we can win this one thing, evictions, then we have done 90% of the presidential directives. While a number of RDCs noted that there is positive progress in fighting illegal land evictions, they also spoke about the challenges that undermine their efforts. We have a lot of land grabbers in the central Uganda region, and these people are more connected, and some of them work for the government, and some of them pretend to be NRM supporters. For us in Kampala here, you find two controlling authorities, KDROB and, for example, EROC. They have all issued titles. People are quarreling. Who is failing who? It is us, number one. When I say us, I mean all of you here and those who didn't come. How do we do it, personal interests? Others accused police officers of conniving with the land grabbers. All land grabbers, I think all, have contacts of police. And there is no land grabber who attempt to push people out without communicating to somebody in the police. The presidential directive on eviction has been frustrated by corruption and bribery. As we are trying to ensure that we harmonize and follow the directive that the president gave, we also need to know our boundaries as what? As RDCs. Yes, there are errant officers, we know, and we, we have handled it, but also we need to clean our house. Where the RDC is the chairperson of the district statute committee, it should not say that the DPC is above the law. There are mechanisms, we have uh, PSU professional standards that handles in discipline of officers. The meeting resolved that all stakeholders should increase their efforts in ensuring that the presidential directive is executed. Benjamin Jumbe, NTV.